Well, Captain Eleven's final suit is home in our Kelland studio, at least for a while. And tonight we give you an up-close look at the iconic uniform and what it took to get it here for our 70th anniversary. Captain Eleven is an iconic part of Kelloland's history. Dave Dendrick portrayed the character for more than 40 years on TVs all across Kelloland. To celebrate our anniversary, Kelloland decided to bring back a piece of Captain Eleven history, his final uniform. The longer time goes by, I think the more it means to us, right? Um, it's part of our heritage, it's part of who we are, and we want to protect it and preserve it and honor it. The uniform and a protective case were delivered to Kelloland and set up in the lobby this morning. The blue jumpsuit is on loan from the South Dakota State Historical Society. Loaning an item takes time and planning. It's a, a long considered process. Um, first the requester um, makes the request and we pay a site visit to determine things like temperature and humidity and lighting and security and so forth and, and we realize that uh, the space uh, could do all of the same things that we would do at the Cultural Heritage Center. Historical Society Assistant Director David Grabitsky wears gloves as he handles the suit. The suit is strategically placed in a corner of the lobby to protect it from light. Take us back to our, our uh, middle school years in science and, you know, your favorite clothes that you wore, you know, the, the sun uh, fades them and makes them brittle and so forth. Well, that's what happens with all light. Captain Eleven's suit will be on display at Kello for about a year. I think it's so important for us to pay tribute and gratitude to those that have laid the groundwork for us to have such a successful career and a, a successful place to work at today and helps the community. I mean, We've done so much for the community Kelloland has. So long, crew. Nice being with, with you. With another anniversary in the books, the work continues to deliver the news for many more years to come. And the South Dakota Cultural Heritage Center's building is closed for renovations. That prompted Kello to reach out about the uniform. The Historical Society says it does loan out items under certain circumstances, but it depends on the item.